Previously on The Walking Dead. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Take it easy, man. Are we going to die? I'm doing a moonwalk here. We just All right. Oh shit! All right. Let's go. Fire well. Go. Go. Stop judging me, man. Go. I'll get my gun. Yeah, hold on. What? I'm sorry. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to our game. This is The Walking Dead again. <laughs> and we will resume now. Herschel just kicked out us from his farm. And now we're with this, uh. I forgot his name. Kenny. Well, Doc this is and as far as we're going. And it's her wife. Enough. And we don't know where we're going to go, but we're trying to go to the Mason, where Lee's uh, parents are. Yeah, and I believe that's their store there. Look! Look! It's a hey zombie! There. You friendly? Trucks run out of gas. <laughs> Fuck! Oh shit! Here we go. We're trapped. Run. Run. Woo! Flip there. Flip the zombies. Woo! <laughs> We're safe, man. We can't take risks like this. <laughs> and we can't just let people die either. When I say that door stays shut no matter what, I fucking mean it. We don't hey. know who these people are. They could be dangerous. Worse, they could have let them right to us. Where the hell is your humanity? We're not dangerous. Just regular folks. What's dangerous is a bunch of people running outside and drawing their attention to us. Lee's right. We're just regular folks, but we actually like helping people. You'll have to excuse her. The hell he or anyone will. This is about survival. Do you guys not see what's happening? Okay, lady, you're the number one right now on my list for I people to sacrifice. To I'd go out there again in a second. In a minute, Clem. They've got kids, Lily. Those yeah. things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join them then. You'll have something in common. God damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. Carly and Glenn just ran out there. She's not wrong. They took a risk. Yes, we did. And we appreciate it. Now let's settle down. Holy shit. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. He wasn't bitten. Hell, he wasn't. We yeah, have to end not. this now. Over my dead body. We'll dig one hole. No, I'm cleaning him up. There's no bite. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten. Shut up. We gotta throw him out, or smash his head in. Kenny, stop him! Hey, what do we do about this guy? Dad, it's just a boy. It, it's... Lily, I'll handle this. But your heart, Dad. You need to calm down. We reason with him. With the bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody threatens my boy. Everyone chill the fuck out! Nobody is doing anything. Shut up, Lily. And you, shut the fuck up. They will find us, and they will get in here, and none of this will fucking matter. But right now, we're about to be trapped in here with one of those things. What the hell are you talking about? He's bitten! That's how you turn! He's no, not we know. bitten. Lee, stop this. It's stop just, uh... him. Oh, full of shit. I'm upsetting him. Upsetting is getting eaten alive. Dad, we get it. It's a big deal. Do you? You're not fucking acting like. You gotta stand it. up now. See it. You're gonna whoop me? <laughs> you and what homo parade? This one. <laughs> That's good. Little boy. 
Before you eat your mommy, you can watch your dad get his nose broken. I'm gonna kill him, Cat. Just worry about Duck. Lee! Yeah? There's someone in there. It's just locked. Key's behind the counter. Probably. Hey, mm. I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just oh, okay. You suddenly up here right now, huh? We're teaming Jim. up, man. He's covered in muck. She'll find the bike. Watch. She won't. And if she does, the first thing he'll do I will is kill her his myself. Teeth into his mom's face. Then, when she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. She'll turn fast. And then there'll be three. Then we deal with it then. But right now we're just freaking everybody out. Then get ready yeah. to deal with it because that boy is bit. It's not gonna happen. It is, and we're tossing him out now. No, you don't touch that boy. You don't touch anybody. I've got a little girl I'm trying to protect in here too. You want to get violent, you old fuck? Well, come on. You better come on. And kill me though, because it's me before anyone else in here. <laughs> Oh fuck, man! A little dizzy. Thank you. You okay? Just great, thanks. Who? that? It's an helicopter. Uh, guys. Everybody down. Stay quiet. Stay out the windows. They're gonna get in. Shut yeah, up. because you're fucking noisy, man. Is that the military? I don't know. Thank God for whatever it is. We almost died because of this bitch and the Richie trigger finger. That was stupid. That was. Uh, uh, Dad! Ah, ah. There you go. Karma's a bitch, man. What's wrong with it? It's his heart. My pills. Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes, we're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there. Behind the counter where the pills are. There's probably another entrance. Maybe through the office. How do you yeah. know that's an office? Uh, educated guess. It doesn't matter. We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. Where are we going I'll then? Head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. Damn, okay. that'd be great. Well, it's gotta get done. Plus, I'm quick, and I know Macon. Go okay. quick. Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you? What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you? You keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. Doug? And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. Nobody's You'll asking. shift in with Doug when he <laughs> needs it. For now, get some rest. For now, shot. I'm in charge. I like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. Now get him those pills. Okay. Suddenly you're in charge, man. Uh huh. What's up? Hey, yeah. What are you messing around with there? Huh? A radio. What does it look, look like? It looks like yeah, a radio. Let me have a look. So listen to the radio. Uh -huh. 
There are no batteries in this thing. What now? You know that there are no batteries in that thing. Yeah, of course. I mean, no, yeah. I think not. No. I can try to find some. Needs two. Thanks. I wouldn't even really know what to look for. It's like we're used to batteries. Have you seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Wanna step it's outside? It's only me in a second, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. No, the gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Oh, huh. Sure. Let's go have a look around. Cool. And we'll keep it down. Don't need to bring them back this way with any unnecessary noises. Yep. Agreed. Okay, let's take a look. Yeah, you know, every zombie apocalypse movie. Jesus. You just realize that the enemy is not the zombies, actually. It's the other people surviving. No! Just eat. As far as I can tell, it's all they care about. And if one gets you, they eat you. And whatever's left comes back as one of them. How the fuck? I think it How might be more than fuck? a couple days before all this gets sorted out. Yeah, I think so. How do we get, get that many so fast, man? Ooh, brick. I can't reach that brick. Uh, Look at the one trapped over there. Uh, Better hit on us. Oh, Lee shit. Everett. What? Oh, Do it's you know that guy. He's Lee Everett. Kind of. He has a familiar face. Oh, you're from around here, huh? Could be anybody, you know. They start rotting and they'll cheat up. And... Shut up, dog. Look at the uniform, though. He could have worked at the drugstore and died with keys in his pocket. It would take a lot of effort to make it safe enough to go out there and see if he has the keys. If we could somehow prove that he worked here, I think it'd be worth it. Now look at the ID, man. I'll see what I can find. Atlas Lee is like, uh... How'd you end up here? Following Herschel's he just order, you know, just to keep it so everything from himself. You probably knew the owners of this place. No, not really. I've only been here a couple months and I spend a lot of time... On the computer? No, just doing my own thing. What about you? I grew I up here. Been trying to get home since the day I came back. Oh, so you probably knew the owners then? Yeah, I did. Good people. Yeah, let's get inside, man. Let's head back inside. Okay. Let's try to figure something out first, man. Catch you later, dude. Okay. Uh-huh. We able to be Clementine, huh? How are you? Hey there. Hi. Hey there. You're an old star. Can I get you anything? Okay? Mm-hmm. Hey. Any word from Glenn? Nothing. Is he okay? Yeah, I think so. You're doing a good job. Okay. Well, sit tight. Okay. Stay put. Uh -huh. Looks like nobody got a chance to donate anything before this all went down. Ooh, what's this? What's that? It's not damaged. Glad this place didn't get looted. 
How's he doing? I'm not sure I got your name. It's Lee. Lily. My dad's Lily. Lee and Lily. I was just doing what I had to earlier. Everyone was. Now his heart's acting up again and I'm powerless to do anything. And that violence before with my dad, that didn't help. You're from here? You're from here? I work at Warner Robins, the Air Force. Oh snap. Oh, okay. Oh, soldier girl. Nah, just mechanical admin stuff. I deal uh, with a okay. bunch of shitheads and bureaucrats all day. Sometimes a plane, if I'm lucky. You? I work up at UTA. What's UTA? What do you think about all this? What is there to think? Okay. <laughs> the dead are up, walking it's Getting her opinion. <laughs> and turning them into more... More of them. I mean, Jesus. You know, I really... We need to wonder how do they get many. Okay, let's, maybe let's... It started with like a hundred, man. How did they grow so fast without even the military controlling it? Was anyone here when you guys got here? No, this place was pretty wrecked. We pulled a couple of bodies out of the office. <coughs> Are you okay? Yeah, yep. I'm fine. Did you know anybody here? Yeah, mm, kind of. They were, uh, we were close. I'm sorry. We found an older couple in the office. Dad hauled them out in case they weren't really dead. Oh shit. His parents? What's wrong with him? He's got a heart condition. He takes nitroglycerin tablets pretty regularly. I've seen a few bad attacks that he couldn't get over and needed to go to the hospital. Yeah, that's uh, not really an option right now. I'm just trying to keep him relaxed. Do some like a. Uh, He's got a temper. Reading oh, exercise. Fuck you. Yeah, he doesn't mean it. It's just that. Yeah. Never mind. I'm sure he's a good guy. He is. He just has his issues. Where's her mom? Mm, I'm just some so guy. Kinda, <laughs> I think. Oh, you guys are just together. a girl. Oh, uh, standing no, in I'm front of a dad. guy. I found in a house when getting to out love of Atlanta. Him. She'd been surviving by herself. I think the girl's parents. Didn't make it. Oh. I heard an answer. What? They were in Savannah. She was home with a sitter. It wasn't good. Well, she's lucky to have you. I'm gonna get back to him. Sounds good. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I'm not gonna give you like that like that chocolate bar. Ooh. Maybe. And chicks dig me like chocolate bar. You can't let anything happen to Ducky. I know, hon. Hey, Lee. Really gave that old man hell. Yeah. We got pushed, you know? You don't have to tell me. I was ready to tear the man's head off. Anyway, we, Cat and I. Oh, we got some, like, uh, soda Thank back you, there. How's Duck doing? He's okay. It was just a shock. We're lucky as hell nobody got nabbed on the way in here. No kidding. How's she doing? How should I know? She's good, I think. <laughs> she's a tough one right there. She don't want to be so king. rude right now. <laughs> what are you saying, Lee? She spent days surviving on her own? That's right. Not just any little girl can do that. <laughs> What's the plan? <sighs> Hang tight, I suppose. Seems pretty dangerous out there, so we ought to wait for things to clear up. You said your family was from here in Macon? Actually, right. from here. Where are they? Should we go looking for them? They, uh, own this place. They, uh, pulled some bodies out of the office before we got here. They're gone. Oh, sweetie. Cat. They were good people. I wasn't around much, but, yeah, they're dead. Yeah, Are trust you guys, you guys right? enough we're to, just fine, like, considering. give you a story. You, We've uh, all been through a lot. Lee, you got a second? <laughs> Dog's sure. still in shock, man. Poor kid. Back on Herschel's farm. Yeah. We didn't even try to save him. 
That blood is on our hands, you know? I tried to save Doug, man. It happened pretty fast. I guess. But I can't stop seeing him in my head. We can't kill ourselves. Over we it. killed that boy. We no. could have saved him together. We did what we could. Bad things happened. We didn't make a choice that killed John. You think you do when you look back on it. But in a moment, when things are really out of control, you don't yeah. have any choice. I guess. You just reacted, man. Stop being uh, like. Try to let it go. Stop being hard on yourself, man. You gotta be tough in this zombie apocalypse thing. Well, easy for me to say. <laughs> look, at the, look at the look on Doug's face. <laughs> we just need Poor to get kid. back to Fort Lauderdale. Okay. We'll do our damnedest. Yeah. How are we doing? If you don't mind, I think my family and I are gonna rest for a bit. Let me know if that asshole over there takes a turn for the worse. You got it. It's all melted now. <laughs> I it's need not that. much, but here, for the boy. Oh, thanks, Lee. He appreciates it. That's sweet, Lee. <laughs> Poor kid. <laughs> okay. And maybe I'll give uh, Clementine a bar. How would you like some chocolate Stop bars? You go. Thank you. Of course. That will get you thirsty, man. <laughs> Next thing, you'll ask for some water. Okay. Maybe you can split those chocolate bars. It's not much, but here. You sure? Yeah. You're under quite a bit of stress. Thanks. That's uh, really sweet. Don't mention it. How about we make out, man? Uh, you say I'm bad, but I am good. So shut up now and eat some food. Ah, okay. Let's try that door over there. The pills are in there. Yep. Alive inside. Oh, this is gonna be a hurtful moment. I'm gonna see his parents. Sick guy. Yeah, we'll keep an eye. Yeah, he's an asshole. There was that thing in the bathroom. We will try to feed him to the zombies as soon as we have the chance. You stopped it. Yeah, I did. Can you do that more? Well, I'm not gonna go looking for him. I mean, get the dangerous ones. I'm gonna try. Good. Have you heard from Glenn? Not in a little while. All right. I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay. Sweet kid, man. The door exit. leads to the back alley. Yeah. First aid kit. Oh shit! There's a photo over there. It's her family photo, man. There you are. Wanna keep it? Find anything? Just a picture of whoever was here. I know who you are. You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' store. 
Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. You fucking get that from that yourself, man! Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. <laughs> Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? The world is ending out there. Who cares who I am? Yeah. If you don't think people will find any reason to turn on you, especially when the shit hits the fan, you're insane. Whatever. You seem like an okay guy. Why? And the last thing we need is drama <laughs> out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and... Yeah, you're the one who's putting all the drama here. I... I don't plan to. Good. Because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I'll just keep it to myself. Thanks. Thanks, man. Don't worry about it. Shut your mouth. Or you will be a salad for the zombies. Fucking nosy. Mistake. Well, she's a reporter. Supposed to be a no nosy. Luckily, there's nothing I need in here. Of course. Hi! Woo! A stick! What's that? It's a baton. This was my dad's cane. He'd zip around here on it from time to time. Was he sick? Nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> this cane's <laughs> protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you with your hat. My dad gave it to me. See, dad's just smart like that. I ought to clear a path to opening that door. Better get this door clear, huh? Yep. Can I help? Sure. Sure. Here we go. Watch your fingers in the drawers. Yep. Uh. How are you doing? Yeah, it's not that heavy. How about with everything outside? It's not good. No, it's not. But I think it'll be okay. Okay, here we go. Uh. One more time. Uh. Yeah. Do you have kids? Not you that don't I know have a family? <laughs> what do your parents do? My mom is a doctor, and my dad is an engineer. Those are good jobs. What's your job? I uh, teach history and writing and things like that. Like, um, social studies? Yeah, yeah. like that. How do you know social studies, man? Just the you first didn't grade. You answer my question. All right. I don't have to, girl. Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they, like, hate you? I hope not. It's just complicated, that's all. Why? It just Why? Is. You'll know. But you love them, right? Yeah, when you grow up. Look, my family's gone, and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. Oh, man. It's really heavy, man. I'm not a bad guy, okay? I'm and not a bad guy! I didn't talk much after that. My parents don't <laughs> talk to me when I get in trouble. I can relate. <laughs> I'm not a bad guy, Clementine. Ow! Oh, there you go. Are you okay? I hurt my finger. Is it bleeding? A little. A little? It's dripping. I'll find you a bandage. Stupid kid. How are we doing over there? Okay. It still hurts. A remote. I'll take Just that. A remote to my dad's TV.
Let's have a look He's at that. He's gonna kiss the boo boo. Oh. It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. Need to like cut Does it. Does it hurt when I do this? A little, not too much. You sure? Yeah. How about if I press here? Ow. Big owl or little owl? Um, medium owl. <laughs> we got a nice little cut on the underside here. That's where it hurts the most. We need a bandage for that, I think. Getting an infection might be a big deal now. What do you mean? Just might be tough to get a doctor for a little while. We need to keep you in tip-top shape. Okay, well, it's not broken. Stupid kid. Uh, the keys are on that zombie out on the street. Lee? Yeah? What if my parents come home and I'm not there? Uh, then you're a ship, man. They'll uh, track us down. Don't worry. Yeah, okay. We should keep a lookout. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then, okay? still hurts. Ah, right. That was a first aid kit in here. I thought there was nothing on the first aid kit, man. Dad told me he bought that TV to watch baseball in here, but I caught him watching his stories more than a few times. Okay, anyway, we will end this episode here for now while we treat Clementine. So, if you guys like this video, let's see if we can do something about it. Give it a thumbs up. Let's get this subscribe started. to our channel and yes, leave us a please. comment below and we will continue next time on the adventures of Clementine and Lee as we go about the zombie apocalypse here on The Walking Dead. Bye bye.